General monorail trains. For example, in subways and light rail systems, the bottom of the train wraps around the tracks. But have you ever seen a dangerous operating mode like the one below? How does it maintain balance? This is the Brennan monorail train. This is a train from the 1900s. Seems to violate the laws of physics. It not only moves forward on a single track, and there's no need for the driver to control balance. This is a true invention. By its inventor Lewis Brennan, he unveiled the principles of train design to the public in 1910. Brennan believed that using trains to travel on a single track is faster than traveling on two tracks. Trains can turn at a faster speed and not off track. Lower railway construction costs. Less construction materials required. Under the huge train, there are only a single row of wheels. So how does it maintain balance? The key lies in the internal core gyroscope of the train. The interior of a monorail train is generally equipped with multiple gyroscopes. The gyroscope is like a rapidly rotating frisbee. When you rotate it, it will maintain one direction and not move randomly. This is the axiality of gyroscopes. But if you push it hard, it will resist you. And it will turn in another direction. This is the precession of the gyroscope. That's why the gyroscope is constantly restoring balance. Brennan inserted such a gyroscope into the train model and connected it to the electric motor. Initially, this method was effective. As long as the train starts to tilt, the disc will move and keep the train upright. The problem is when the train turns, the gyroscope did not rotate with it. Easy to cause trains to derail. To solve this problem, Brennan installed a second gyroscope on the train and rotated in the opposite direction. The two are connected by gears. Such, when a gyroscope is in motion, another gyroscope will move in completely opposite directions. When the train turns, both gyroscopes want to remain facing in the same direction, but this is impossible. Therefore, both gyroscopes are forced to rotate together with the train. This unnecessary movement is cancelled out. The train will not derail even when turning. But when it comes to studying the actual size testing of trains, due to the train being too heavy, Gyroscopes have gravity attempting to pull down trains. So Brennan used a gasoline engine to drive two gyroscopes and installed in a vacuum sealed casing to reduce air friction. This can keep the gyroscope rotating at high speed, thus generating sufficient gyroscopic moment to counteract the overturning moment of gravity. Even in the event of power depletion, can also maintain a certain rotational speed and stability, can last for at least 30 minutes. Only when the train overturns, Although the prototype of the Brennan monorail train was technically successful, unfortunately, investors do not have confidence in this design because this approach also has some drawbacks. For example, consuming a large amount of energy, increase the weight and cost of trains, and once the power supply malfunctions or the gyroscope malfunctions, the truck will immediately overturn. Therefore, Brennan's monorail trains have not been widely used, but rather replaced by more advanced technological solutions. What do you think about this? Welcome to leave a message.